Hi Virgo, welcome into your reading. We're reading for pretty much the last week of February going into the first week of March. Guys, I like to say time and energy is fluid. That's why I don't like to date my videos. They're just right around the two week mark um, because you're not all going through the same thing at the same time. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. All right, so let's see what's going on. And this week we had the portal day of 2-22-2022. So on the 2, February 2nd, something had opened. And now on the 22nd, something has closed. So whatever you had done in that time period, it, something came finally to a resolution. So you're about to move forward with whatever decisions you recently made. And now this is what's coming towards you after that portal day. So, of course, the universe was hoping that you were tying up loose ends from last year and whatever you were going through in January with all those retrogrades. Because now, whatever you've decided and whatever you're doing, this is going to be the mark of your year. So, with that said, let me pull two more cards and we can begin your reading. What else do we have for Virgo, please, Virgo? And this weekend, I will also be releasing uh, your Life Path readings for the month of March. Uh, it's just an extra layer you can add on to your zodiac because we're all a life path number and i do life path readings one through nine um i'll have the here's the card of the descriptions of what they are um but i basically do it like this but based on your life path and i'll do it for the whole entire month of march all right so let's see what's going on over here the fool the bottom of the deck the fool which is an aries energy here is the theme of the week so basically, you're taking a leap of faith. The devil, Capricorn is back here, ace of pentacles, some kind of uh, offer was given to you. Let me see what's happening here. Some of you could have left a marriage or a commitment behind. Hold on a second. All right, so it looks like here, in the recent past, some kind of communication came in for you, Virgo. And when this communication came in, you feel you felt a little vindicated, like you felt like you won something or you got recognition in regards to a situation. Page of Pentacles, somebody made a small little offer willing to basically work on a situation or give you some kind of small offer. Yes, it can be a business partnership or a love ship because lovers is here. Um, and this is something that's like divinely guided to you by the heavens. All right, and it is a marking of something interesting here because we are going through that portal, like I said. This person, whoever this lover is that you're dealing with, Virgo, uh, said, hey, let's go out for coffee, let's go out for drinks. Uh, messaged you something on an emotional level, but it's like an invitation of sorts, okay? So, it, of course, it can be a business partnership as well uh, because the Ten of Pentacles is talking in regards to a commitment, uh, to something this also could be in regards to a marriage others of you this is money on your home like your business foundation but you are moving away uh, from this whatever this is whatever this is you're moving in the direction of something new in regards to that so at first i was like are they leaving this behind this commitment this marriage this whatever no, it looks like you're, whatever that is, it's on your mind and you're moving into the right direction of this new abundant thing, whatever this new thing is. Because to me, Ace of Pentacles is the opportunity of something that's abundant. Abundance is health, wealth, love, whatever you deem abundant. So this can be a relationship, this could be a new job, this could be anything, uh, some major offer that embarks a new path. And what's this? Although you are dealing with something or someone toxic it could be something that you're obsessed with or someone's obsessed with you you're dealing with a capricorn it can be or aries but you take a leap of faith anyway you you take the risk you move on so let's see what's going on here because the devil's what making it interesting to me so the more card more cards i drop the more the story unfolds and i get a little bit more specific now in your situation, I have King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It does not have to be. It's just the energy. This is somebody very emotional, stable, and loving. So this is somebody who loves you. Because to me, I feel like the who's ever listening to me, whether you're male or female, you are my queens. All right? And the kings are the energy that are coming in towards you. So the Four of Wands, this is love coming into your foundation. It's good, like in, in regards to moving in with somebody or getting engaged with someone. Uh, or even buying a home with someone. This is love. This is this is love and this is family. So, let's keep going. That's the situation. 
What's coming towards you is death and three of swords. There's an ending here of pain. All right, what you don't, th this is what's coming in the future position. There's something here that's being transforming. There's an ending to something, but let's see what this is because this is profound pain, but there's an ending here also. Ugh, this is like one of those things I really don't want to read for. You know what I'm talking about. This is like health-wise, I don't want to discuss it, but you know what I'm talking about. Some of you could be, you know, for a very small pocket of you are, are overcoming a, a, a near and dear one who recently passed, okay? Uh, unfortunately, or it's on your mind a little bit. Um, but we'll see, past that. And this could also be talking about you transforming a situation, moving past something that was painful, and now you're growing from that experience. What you don't see coming is this King of Swords, this Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, somebody very cerebral, logical, rational, also very moral and ethical, okay? Honest person, very business savvy. Um, they're a surprise to you somehow, some way. We'll see in a minute when we clarify. Now, in your advice, seven of wands, six of cups, four of cups. Yes. All right. So here it's talking about your boundaries, putting them up. All right. In regards to something from your past or someone from your past, because you're nostalgic here. And this is talking about putting up boundaries with somebody from your past that hasn't made you happy. All right. With the four of cups. This could be talking about unrequited love in the past. Uh, sorry, my camera was glitching there. Um, but in your advice position, it's talking about needing to see your blessings. Because right now, this is like somebody who's just um, a little being a little bratty in a way. So it's like, ugh, why am I getting these shitty offers? Not for me. No, thank you. So this is talking about looking at the blessings in disguise that are coming your way. And also needing to defend yourself, defending your turf in regards to somebody here from your past, dealing with somebody from your past. This is talking about dealing with something from your past. You need to put up your boundaries, your borders, because it looks like somebody's been robbing your happiness with the Four of Cups, making you unhappy or just not giving you your fair share, okay? And it's causing you unhappiness here. Now... This could be either a person, a situation, or something that you need to resolve within yourself because it's in the advice position. So if it's like something that you haven't healed and you haven't dealt with, especially when I see the three of swords here, it's something you do need to deal with. You do need to put up borders and boundaries, all right? Because the three of swords signifies something to me. We'll see when I clarify. This is going to unravel and I'll, I'll know. Now, in the outcome, justice. Yeah, karma. In the upright position, you're going to be karmically rewarded. Some, some Justice will be served. You will get something out of this, especially if you've been, you know, the right party here. Even if you're going to court with somebody here, or this is just talking about on the spiritual realm of, you know, being karmically correct, you will be rewarded because it's in the upright position. Let's go ahead and start clarifying these cards here and see what's going on. Because um, I feel as if, you're doing the right things and but you're you might be letting somebody walk all over you virgo and it's time to just take one of those wands and i don't know be like me kick their ass <laughs> such an aries oh god all right let me see no i'm just kidding um remain positive of course but you know do put put your you know stake in the ground here four of wands king of cups the fool you're still taking a leap of faith here and this is why i love virgos honestly i feel like you're such genuine sweet souls the sun in reverse all right so there's something here where you're not looking at it optimistically all right you feel like not that there's no hope but you don't see the light at the end of the tunnel because you're not happy right now it doesn't matter because even this card in the reverse inverted it's still the it's still a positive card because at the end of the day there is light at the end of the tunnel there is sunshine you just don't see it yet is all it says there's it, this can also signify you're not seeing something for what it is you're not seeing something correctly that's why the four of cups in your advice is saying see the blessing in disguise here there's somebody here who loves you who could like really love bomb your your family life and 
be what you need, but you're not seeing it in that perspective. You're not seeing something for what it is. You're seeing it in this perspective, something toxic, the devil here. You know, it's like um, maybe you're seeing it from a materialistic point of view, maybe from a comfort level, maybe from a practical sense. Something in the 3D material world is how you might be perceiving something. Now, what's here? What's the Three of Swords in death, please? Hmm. Ace of Swords, Six of Pentacles. Yeah, there, you're, you're about to have a new beginning. So whatever this pain was, this profound pain that, that's coming in, like this is in the future position coming towards you, you are leaving this behind and you are transforming this. It's like, I, it's like saying somebody grew up because there's these little people here. Let me bring the card close. There's little people here and then you have this over here, like Megadeth, <laughs> saying rise, rise up people. It's like, it's time to change. It's, it's time to get past this pain and have a fresh new start in life with this Ace of Swords. I don't know yet if you're still dealing with the same person or if this is you uh, initiating a new thing in your life. Because sometimes the devil, I mean the devil, I'm sorry, the fool sometimes also talks about it being a solo ride. Because I don't see another person yet except for the King of Swords, which is in your future position as well that you don't see coming. Um, and Six of Pentacles, finding fair, honesty, and balance. Being, this is what's happening. Here's what's transforming for you. And this is why you have death here. What's transforming for you is that you're about to have a fresh new beginning in truth, honesty, and clarity with somebody based on, on something that's fair and balanced. Okay? Now things are starting to open up for me because here are the scales. Here are the scales in your outcome. Balancing something. Coming from honesty. Coming from truth. You know, and dealing, maybe it's a conversation about what hurt what hurt you to whomever you're dealing with now you're being optimistic now you're once you get past this initial stage what's coming down the pike you start changing your point of view you start becoming optimistic you start becoming positive here virgo you start seeing the light at the end of the tunnel but there is something you're holding on to here you're holding on to the pain and you gotta let it go and it might have been caused by this king of swords king of swords king of swords I just feel like you might have multiple people in your sphere. I think you have a new person here who was ready to love bomb your home, family, your, your, your foundation, but you're holding on to pain. And that's what spirit is telling you here. You need to let it go because you it's it, it, it was meant to happen for a reason. It was meant to transform you. It was meant to make you bigger than what you were, your value, your worth. You're worth so much far more, Virgo, than what you were getting. You are getting basically breadcrumbs. All right. Let's see. You are. You are transforming. Because now I'm understanding the advice over here as well. Defending yourself. You know, seeing that there's somebody else in your sphere. There's somebody here in your orbit who loves you. If they're not, they're coming in. And maybe you've been neglecting this person. I don't know because you've been holding on to pain that somebody else caused you. What is this King of Swords? And lo and behold, maybe they come back. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy. But you don't see coming. So while you've been transforming and transitioning, um, yes, the universe wants to test you now. Did you take the lessons? It's like it's like when we go to school, guys. We we go in, we learn, we study, we take a test, right? Did we did we fail? All right, maybe maybe some of us flew with aces in the first round and you're good to go and you're off you go. Others of us, we might have failed the test because I don't know, we were missing information. So then we retake the test. That's what's happening now. You're retaking the test. All right, because the King of Swords is the surprise that comes back to you. Asking you for reconciliation. Justice is here. Maybe this was somebody you were married to. I don't know. This could also be your, a lawyer for some of you. Because justice, Libra, law, and these tend to be lawyer people. Anyway, whatever. Five of Wands is talking about the obstacles, the blocks, the challenges, the competition, the arguments, and the Page of Pentacles. 
the small offer. King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. All right, let me see. Yeah, look at this. Some of you had a lover. This could be either way. This is either you or the person that you're dealing with. This is their situation. There was a lover here. And then it just brought down your foundation. This lover brought down your foundation right there. Some of you, it could have brought even down your marriage. This fiery person, this passionate person, this sexy person, this person that you are obsessed with sexually, I don't know, or physically, some shit like that. All right. And then some of you might have had a divorce or I don't know. And you thought that you were going to go with this new person and it didn't work out. There's something there. there I'm, I'm trying to figure out because there's so many energies floating around. Because this could also be their world. And they're not telling you. Because this also signifies third party situation here. This person wants to come back now to you. To reconcile things. They're making you some kind of small offer here. The reconciliation, guys, I don't know if it's based on friendliness uh, and giving you some financial offer here because you're fighting and you're arguing over something for some of you. Others of you know this person wants a reconciliation. You're having this, these, but this is like friendly fighting. So this is just like going back and forth to resolve a situation and to, to finally get to this point. The, these, these are the clarifiers of this person. This is telling me why they're coming back, why they're your surprise. And they're coming back to justify a situation and make some kind of offer to you. That's a fact. At whatever else I could possibly say, that's what's happening here. That's the surprise. This person is coming back to reconcile with you, making you some kind of small offer to balance the scales of justice. But you're bickering back and forth. Oh, or you're trying to, I don't know, compromise. That's the word I was looking for. Let's see what else is going on. And this is why you need to defend yourself with this person from the past. Defending person from the past. Not making you happy. The offer you're getting is not what you want. But you also need to see your blessings in disguise. Because I feel like there's somebody else here energetically that does want you. I don't think you want that. I think you want this person. Just saying. Advice, please. What else is the advice for... Okay, so yes. This King of Cups, this person that loves you here, who wants to create a foundation with you, that you're not exactly happy quite yet, or you don't see the light there, let me show you this. Your King of Cups came out again here in the advice position. When the shit's in the advice position, this is the shit that's blessed for you, Virgo. This is the shit that Spirit is backing up for you to make positive to work on your behalf, to be beneficial for you, all right? So uh, maybe it's possible you're it's unrequited for you. You don't really like this person as much. I don't know. But usually the Four of Cups is talking about looking at your blessings in disguise because you're ignoring them right there. Um, meanwhile, there's somebody here from your past that you need to defend yourself from, all right? Because there is mutual happiness here to be had with this king of cups. Okay? Because 10 is mutual. It's not just happiness that's one-sided. This is the both of you. Spirit knows what they're doing. There's potential happiness to be had here in love. Now, if you don't have two energies and you only have this one person that you're dealing with that, that's this air sign, then this is it. Once you put your foot down and you realize your blessings in disguise... And you defend yourself and you, you say what you need, you, you both find that you're happy with one another. Yeah, you're holding on. All right, let's see what justice is here because this is beautiful now. Because now I love this in your outcome for the week, justice. This is you getting something fair for you out of all this whole entire raw deal. Yeah, five of swords in reverse. This is somebody 
that you're dealing with where you are arguing back and forth you put down your arms to talk you put down you put away the knives you're like let's put the knives away yes two fives in reverse you're getting over the challenges you're getting over the difficulties two fives and they're both in reverse you're coming in from out of the cold you're putting away the knives to have a conversation the wheel is in the upright position. It is moving in your direction. It has luck on your side. This is somebody that's in and out of your life. This could be also you weighing your pros and cons. Um, you just going back and forth. That's the only thing I do not like, but I get it. But at least it's also in the upright position, so you're juggling the situation. But you are getting justice. All right? And it could be with whoever this person is that you have chemistry with, that you have passion with. This person that you have intense heat with, that you're attracted to, the lover, potentially, whoever this is. So I have these multiple energies. I feel them strongly. There's somebody that was solid. There's a lover. And then there's you. All right. Let's see what your romance angels have to say. In the extended, we go from Aries to Pisces to see how your person feels about you. We also will do a mini deep dive. What, what are their intentions towards you? What are their next uh, actions towards you? Possible outcome. We cover those in the extended. The link is down below. Um, let's see. And we also clarify this with Tarot, the, the romance angels. So it's possible for you, this lover or the new person or whoever you're dealing with, this could be the one for fact. Uh, and pay attention to the red flags. Yeah, don't let this person walk all over you. Some of you guys, you're dealing with a past life relationship here. This person could have been a karmic, a twin flame, a life lesson, who knows, or a life blessing. To me, life blessing. So these could be two different people. One is the one, and the other one is a red flag. Guys, red flags is not an entrance to a concert. <laughs> I think I said this before. It is, a, it is there for a reason. Somebody asked me the other day, why do I keep dating the wrong people? I go, because somewhere subconsciously, you're you're finding people that where you don't value yourself and they're represented by the person that you chose. And they're like, no, that's not me. I'm like, oh yeah, because if you knew your worth and you knew your value, you wouldn't tolerate it and you wouldn't accept it. That's why the seven of wands is in your advice. And if you saw red flags, you would move on quickly. You wouldn't stay to try to fix it or see, or, you know, give the person two, three, ten chances. You move on. Those are the people who, who ace the first test. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Some of us have to take two tests. Big deal. It's fine. So you are being tested right now, Virgo. You're very close to achieving your goals. Boom, done. Adjustments are required. You know what the adjustments are? What I just told you in the advice. Adjustments are required. In order for something to be successful, and if that's what you want to be with this person, because we all have free will here at the end of the day, Virgo. You want this to be successful and you want to have this Ten of Cups, you really need to put your foot down. All right, so um, that's what I have for you guys. For everybody else, the extended link is down below.